next into the tank is a perfect gift for those who like to linger. Hi, sharks. My name is Katie Steffi, and I... Uh, I'm sorry. My husband was supposed to be here by now. A while ago, he waltzed into the bathroom, phone in hand, and I haven't seen him since. He's what I call a poo procrastinator. In other words, someone who wastes time in the bathroom. Adam, are you still in the bathroom? I'm just doing the paperwork. Almost done. Okay, it's been 40 minutes. <laughs> 40 minutes? <laughs> well, that would explain why I can't feel my legs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sharks. Sorry I'm late. My name is Adam Steffi. And I'm Katie Steffi. And we are from Normal, Illinois. We are seeking $200,000 in exchange for 10% equity in our company, Catamco. And now introducing our most successful product line to date, the Toilet Timer. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> The toilet timer is the perfect way to tell someone to poop or get off the pot. This is a sand timer with a unique mechanism that I invented. It gives you about five minutes to do your business so you don't miss anything important, like pitching on Shark Tank. Remember, sharks, the toilet timer will take him from infinite scroll to the toilet paper roll. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make a deal and put an end to poo procrastination. <laughs> oh my goodness. You can't be serious. <laughs> That's Absolutely. right, I can't be serious. It's very rare. <laughs> Let me just stand up for all men in America and say that is our only time yes, where we right. get privacy. Yep. Let me just yes. tell you a fact of toiletry. Yes. If your legs don't fall asleep, you're not doing it right. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, it's, it can be a product that guys don't want, sure. but that a woman looks at and says, he needs this. It's just supposed to be a gag gift, though, right? It is it's a just, gag. I mean, it's, yes. it's primarily a gag gift, but there is a practical side to this. And what would that be? Behind it what, what's that the practical the, side? That being on the toilet too long can be bad for your gut and your butt health. I think this would be a great time to queue up Dr. Readers. Hi, Sharks. As a gastroenterologist, I tell my patients not to stay in the toilet for more than three to five minutes. This will prevent fissures and hemorrhoidal bleeding. The toilet timer is certainly entertaining, but it's a medical fact that lingering in the loo is bad for your health. <laughs> Thank you, sharks, and good luck at it. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to be pragmatic about it, and I give everybody an equal opportunity. Mm. However, I'm a little skeptical here. Uh -huh. $200,000 for 10 We don't even know what it sells for yet, Kevin. We don't well, know what it costs to make. it because a $2 million valuation are. means there's a lot of poo poo going on here. Mm -hmm. we're, we're totally going to get the numbers. There's some great numbers. Get us excited. Christmas 2019, quarter million dollars in sales. $250,000. And what does it cost you to make this? Just under $3 dollars land. I'm sorry, you, you said sell it for what? $14.99. You gotta be kidding. In December. I know. People are right? crazy. But where did you sell it? It's primarily Amazon. What I want to tell you about the product is it lends itself to licensing very easily. So if you'd like to remove your black hankies, be our guest. <laughs> oh! Oh. oh. Uh -huh. Kevin? Kevin, how do you like your new look? I know I'm getting a royalty. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, I've seen your face on a potato, so I didn't think this was a big stretch. Yeah, listen, I used to poo-poo these kind of tchotchke ideas until I got into potato parcels. Right. Now I'm not laughing anymore because I get a big check every month. Let's stay focused on the numbers because you're asking for $200,000. How much is this going to sell this year in your estimation? Okay. You said quarter of a million last yeah. year. Yeah, uh, it was, it was 294,000 last year altogether. That's huge. Quarter million is December. How do we know it's gonna sell again? Well, how are you promoting it, right? Or are, there, are people just finding it on Amazon? What has happened over the past two Christmases is Amazon's algorithms have picked up that people like this and they buy it. So last Christmas, I didn't spend a dime on advertising. Good for you. I have never, for thanks, Mark. What are you on track to do this year? If I walk out of here with no deal today, then I'll do a million dollars this year because that's all the product I can afford to buy. You'll do one million dollars in this crap yeah, this yeah. year? Why would it go from 250 one year to a million the next nine. year without publicity? That's I've such a great question. Because this year, we've already done $318,000 of this skew. 318? Yes. And a quarter million of that 
was this Father's Day. So, so how is this possible? What planet are we on? Yeah, we're on right. planet poop, man. If I can walk away with a deal today, I believe that I can do three million in sales this year. I thought you said one million earlier. That's right. My bank is not scaling with me. He can do one million this year with or without us, he said. That's saying. right. Mm -hmm. And then three million if I can get some help getting inventory. As we've looked at the humps that have happened over the past seasons, saying we've got a big Christmas on our way and I wanna be ready for it. I have never been ready for a holiday season and I've sold out each season. You don't have enough so, inventory, that's the problem. So, you need the 200,000 to build more inventory. Well, no, no, I need 200,000 for some other stuff and then I need some more money for inventory. What other stuff? What other stuff? <laughs> <laughs> well, what I'd like to do is with $70,000 of the investment, I can put that towards um, turning our production line in China into a higher volume production facility. But you that, have great margins already. Why would it be a priority for you to even invest that money? That doesn't make sense to my ears. It doesn't seem to me like there would be anything that you should have to pay for or supply to a factory if you don't own the factory mm -hmm. that you would put any money into whatsoever. I've been Factories should improve their systems free and ramp up to accommodate you and make Absolutely. inventory. See why I'm here is to learn yes. from you guys. <laughs> exactly. Well, it's don't fall down learn. that rabbit hole. Do yeah. not give any factory any money. Just okay. give them more purchase orders and tell them that they should figure out how to ramp up the speed of the making of the product. That's good advice. I think you guys are great. I think a lot of people will buy it. But it's just not the kind of thing where I feel like I could come in and give you anything that's really super beneficial to blow up your business. Um, so for those reasons, I'm out. Adam, I respect sales and you have them. The trouble with this deal though is you're asking for $200,000, all right? This is a gag company, I get it, but 200 is too much, okay. way too much for this. I'm out. Okay, thanks Kevin. You're thinking this is a business, it ain't, it's a gimmick. Okay. And you can make a certain amount of sales, then it's going to burn out. So for that reason, I'm out. How, how much did you start the company with the, this product with? Well, my whole company was $300. And you're going to do a million dollars this year? Yeah, for sure. At least. I think that's extremely impressive, yeah. right? Yeah. But on the other side, I have a personal matter when it comes to this, because <laughs> in the, I think you're taking away the only time that men have. It's just something I don't resonate with. So I'm out. Thank you, David. Yeah. So it can, it can be a, a threat towards men, but people keep buying these. Mark, do you want to add a toilet timer to your portfolio? I've always dreamed of that. <laughs> yeah, what I like about this is there's always going to be Father's Day. There's yeah. always going to be a need for gags, right? Mm -hmm. So I like it. Um, obviously, you need money for inventory, so I understand why you're here for that. So I'll make you an offer. Wow. I'll offer you $200,000 that you asked for for 25%. 25% for that. I think we should just do that. Hey, Mark, let's make a deal and let's do it, okay? Good. Let's do it. All right. What a surprise so awesome. ending. <laughs> oh. Yes, yes. Oh. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you guys so all so yeah, much. Thank you guys. And thank Good you. Job. What you guys do for American entrepreneurialism is beautiful. Thank, thank you. Care. Thank you. <laughs> thank Bye. you, Mark. Congrats. Thanks, guys. We didn't want to look a gift horse in the mouth. Mark was our only offer, and there were some things we could have counted with, but at that point, I didn't think it made sense. We're okay with 25%. We think that we can do great business with this product.